badge skins. In this video, we will cover a number of install how-tos of our badge skin products for the exterior of the Mark II Tiguan. As you can see here, this is a variant of what is possible with some of our badge skins products. So let's get started. For the Mark II Tiguan with the LED projector headlights, with the upgraded headlights that you can get out of it in the halogens, we have a tint kit that comes for the top portion and the lower portion here that covers the signal. So for this install, we're doing the lower portion here for the, for the signal section of the headlight. And it comes like this with the left and right hand side. And it's pretty simple. Um, what you're gonna do is same thing. You just gotta clean your surface area the best that you can. Use an alcohol wipe and then microfiber cloth and clean off the area and dry it. With the install here, we're doing a dry install. So obviously we're doing the right hand side. I'm gonna take that right hand side badge skin, which is a, a smoke tint. And we're just gonna remove the batch skin from the backing. And what you're gonna do is that you're just gonna line this up so that it's just covering all the flat portion of this lens. It doesn't have to wrap around the side. So as you do this, once you get the alignment that you want, you can start kind of squeegeeing it down with your thumb. Or if you have a squeegee, you can do that too. And you can just kind of follow that edge all the way across. Just before where the lens starts to curve over. So I add a bit of tension here so it keeps the vinyl kind of taut so I can manipulate it. But essentially I'm just going to keep working the vinyl in. If I don't like it, I'm just going to give it a little tug and realign it. As you can see, everything just kind of lines up. It's a perfect fit. So once you've done that, I'm just going over everything, the whole surface area. And then I'm gonna peel off the masking 180 degrees. And here it is. simple and it adds a bit of a smoke look to it so for the second portion of this headlight tint kit here is the larger piece which is the top part here and it's very simple same as the bottom part that we discussed earlier more or less you just gotta clean that surface area wipe it clean um, unfortunately there's some things you can't avoid if this isn't a brand brand new car you might have some rock chips and stuff that may cause some bubbling on the vinyl but that's fine um, so here is the kit here and you're just gonna take the bag skin and remove it from its backing. It's a pretty large piece, so just be careful uh, for static electricity because you might pick up some lint and stuff, especially if you're wearing a sweater or anything. So that's why it's best to install this without um, long sleeves. So pretty well what you do is you just gonna take this and you're gonna line up everything on the flat section of this onto the headlet and once you're comfortable with your alignment you can start tacking it down like a squeegee style with your thumb or if you have a squeegee you can do that but essentially you're going to keep that tension on the left side here as you work this vinyl down So do your 
best to apply good pressure and even and don't race into bringing it down so always keep going overlapping the last section where you squeegee down with your thumb keep using the top line here as a guide if you don't if you don't feel like you like the way it is you know, just peel it off and kind of just recenter it And work it back down what you want to do is you want to keep about maybe one millimeter below where that line is where you see the reflection of where that light lens starts to curve takes a bit of time and patience. So we just keep working in the vinyl until you get to the very end. Just like that. That took a little bit of time because it's such a large piece. But once you have everything packed down, just go over everything like here. If you have a squeegee, best time to do that. And then you go peel off the masking 180 degrees. Now during the time you're peeling this off, if it pulls the vinyl off the lens a little bit, you don't have to worry, just kind of squeegee it down. Take off that little symbol for right hand side. As you can see, this is a pretty easy install. If you ever run into a situation where you may find a little air bubble, all you do is take a little threading needle, make a poke to the edge of the circle and just work it down to exhaust the air or take a heat gun to it. But this is it. This is the complete smoke kit for the LED projector headlights for the Mark II Tiguan. Here we'll be doing the Mark II Tiguan fog light tint badge skin install. And pretty well, it's going to cover this side and the, and the other side. And the kit comes like this. And it's pretty basic. Same situation. Make sure everything's well cleaned, especially inside the crevice in here and make sure everything's dry. Once you've done that, then all you do is take your batch skin kit and you're just gonna peel the batch skin tint off the backing and then we're gonna go and do the install. So here we are, we're just about to apply this. Like I said before, make sure that your fog light lens is super clean. Uh, unfortunately, you can't do anything about any pitting that has happened if it's not a brand new car, but the install is pretty simple. You're gonna take your badge skin and you're kind of just gonna line up this top edge a bit and the corner so that you have full coverage like so. So let me see here. Just like that. I wanna line it up. And just kind of tack it down and see where this leads. And I should have a little bit of an overlap of where that corner and edge is. And I'm just going to keep 
running the other side into the crevice area and once you've done that you can kind of just start squeegeeing everything down with your thumb or a squeegee if you have so if you have a micro squeegee it's good to use here you would grab onto the masking to make sure you don't fully tuck it all the way in. You fold it back so that you have access to it. Um, for a micro squeegee tool I have here, you can also just cut up a gift card to get you the good shape. Make sure you round off the edges. Once you've tacked everything down, you can remove the masking slowly at 180 degrees. that and what you do is that you could tuck in the rest of the vinyl in between the trim behind the trim sorry like so and then you're gonna make sure that you finish tacking in the back section there and essentially that is it that it's a very simple install the only other thing is if you have any air bubbles, like I said before, you just take a threading needle. If say there's a bubble here, you just poke at the very edge of it, take a heat gun, warm it up, and then just exhaust it and push it towards where you poke the hole or use a squeegee and it will, it will relieve the air from inside the air bubble. And here you go, tinted fog lights for the Mark II Take One. Well, here we'll be installing the side marker tint for the Mark II Take One, as you can see here. All you're gonna do is you know, prep the surface area by making sure it's nice and clean. You're gonna use the alcohol swab and you're gonna take off any excess dirt, make sure that's wax free. Then you got microfiber cloth and make sure it's nice and dry. Your kit comes like this with the, with the tint, the backing and the masking. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove the bash skin from the backing and you're gonna line it up to the marker. And you're not trying to line up the edge, you're actually just lining up the whole re so the whole outline. Just like that. Then once you're comfortable, then you're just gonna squeegee it down with your thumb or your finger. And just gonna tack it down the best you can in a nice motion so you know that you're not gonna get any air bubbles and afterwards you gotta peel off the mask at 180 degrees now at this point it would be nice if you had a squeegee or or say if you have a a bank card or a gift card you can cut it up and what you can do is that you can you can tuck the edges down like so And just make sure that you get all the angles and sides. And the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna mold the vinyl to the imprint that's on the marker just by simply taking a threading needle if you have. I'm using a, a vinyl puncturing tool and you just gonna make a bunch of little punctures all around the area where you where you see the writing. And then you take a heat gun, warm up the area, make sure that you keep the heat even and not concentrate on one stop spot. And then you're just gonna push down and mold the vinyl to the lettering. And it also will be good to do a heat treat all the way around the edges to make sure that you got that all down and that's it and now you have a tinted side marker all right here we'll be installing the badge skin for the clear lens on the taillights of the mark ii tiguan this is the north american spec taillight 
So essentially you're gonna have these two clear lens parts and we're gonna tint them with a batch and kit. So essentially your batch and kit comes like this with the left and right side. So like always what you're gonna do is you're gonna prep the surface area by cleaning it and making sure that it's uh, wax free and no contaminates then you're gonna dry it. Then you use a provided alcohol wipes, you're gonna clean the surface area, dry it with a microfiber cloth and then you're ready to apply the badge skins. So simply you're gonna pick the left side since we're working on the left side and all you have to do is separate the badge skin from the backing. And then what you're gonna do is just line it up to the lens. It's just gonna cover it perfectly with a little bit of an overlap on the clear lens part. If you're uncomfortable with your alignment, you can just simply peel it back and reset. But essentially you're just gonna squeegee it down with your thumb or finger or squeegee if you have. But this is pretty effective. And once you have it tacked on, pull off the mask at 180 degrees, like so. First one done. Now for the second one, same thing. You're gonna take your back and remove it from the backing. And you're just gonna line it up. Usually you have about a millimeter overlap. And you're just gonna work the vinyl in from one side to another. So essentially you're eliminating any air bubbles. Once it's tacked down, fold the masking and pull it off at 180 degrees. And just like that, within less than a minute, you've actually changed the aesthetics of your tail light. Okay, so here we're gonna be installing the Mark II TIG-1 rear bumper reflector tint. Now, this can be installed with a dry install with masking or a wet install with just the vinyl and you would have to use a squeegee and a wet solution. But in this demo, we're gonna do a dry install where the batch tin comes essentially like this with the masking over it, telling you which side is left and right. And then for preparation of the surface area is the same as always, you're gonna wash and dry, but this is very important because the reflector is recessed. We wanna make sure that it is actually really dry inside because we're doing a dry install. So make sure all the cracks and crevices that you have got all the water out. Now, after you've done that, you take the alcohol wipe, you're gonna clean the surface area and then microfiber cloth to dry the alcohol off to make sure that it's a complete, the clean and dry surface area. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your batch skin and obviously we're gonna pick the left side because we're installing the left one here. And you're gonna peel the batch skin off. And all you have to do essentially is line up the tent by inserting it into that crevice and it'll be pretty lined up and all you have to do is use your finger and squeeze it down now if you find your alignments a little off between top and bottom as you can see like you want to get as much of the front surface area as possible you can actually move the fashion up and down based on how you want that to run on alignment so I'm just working it across and whenever I see something I don't like I'm just gonna give it a little little pull a little quick pull to re make it realignments or adjustments as I go so essentially I think I'm pretty happy with how this is installed I'm gonna run my finger in there to try to get all tacked down now if you do have a squeegee or something like that this is a good time to use it so you can make sure that you get all the edges really tacked down if you don't you can use a microfiber cloth and a, and, a, and a card to really get in there so once that's down in there I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna pull it on 180 degrees like so remove the masking and just do a final check on all my edges and essentially within 30 seconds you have a nicely tinted rear reflector now with all reflectors and anything with lettering molding you guys you can see here what you do is you take a needle and you're gonna poke it 
multiple times around the lettering. And then you can take a heat gun to it. And as you can see, that will mold the vinyl to the lettering so it looks OEM. Simple as that. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed and we didn't bore you too much with our install videos, but this is what you would end up looking like. Thanks for watching.